Your lymphedema, taking back control. Self-lymphatic drainage can help improve lymphatic drainage from an area that is congested or damaged, soften and improve skin condition, and can make you feel more in control of the management of your lymphedema. The technique shown in this video is based on FGMLD and the fill and flush technique from the Lymphedema Training Academy. There are many different methods and you may have been shown one that is slightly different. Discuss this with your practitioner. This film is not designed to replace individual advice given to you by your practitioner. Self-lymphatic drainage should not be carried out if you are undergoing active cancer treatment, such as radiotherapy or chemotherapy, have an infection, have had a recent thrombosis or an untreated heart condition. If you are at all concerned, then discuss with your practitioner or family doctor prior to starting SLD. Although you can use this film alone, it has been designed to be used alongside the LSN self-management book, Your Lymphedema, Taking Back Control, which can be purchased from the LSN website, www.lymphedema.org. Remember, as with anything in life, learning SLD needs lots of practice, persistence and patience to perfect the movements and sequences, but it will soon become second nature. Hi, I'm Denise Hardy. I'm the nurse specialist here at Kendall Lymphology Centre, as well as being the nurse advisor for the Lymphedema Support Network. For how long, I have no idea. But here I am today talking about simple lymphatic drainage. And we're going to go through the sequences that have recently been published in our book about managing lymphedema. First of all, before we just touch on the, the SLD, I wanted to just remind everyone about the lymphatic system. This obviously is what we're going to be doing a lot of in the next half an hour or so. The lymphatic system is crucial for removing um, fluid and waste products um, that happens all the time. It's produced constantly. And as a result, if you've got an obstruction or an overload of lymphatic fluid, then we're going to get lymphedema. And so simple lymphatic drainage gives us a, a way of improving that drainage. The deep system you can see here on this poster, but on top of that, we have a very superficial network, which if you look at this very crude tool that I'm showing you, is a little netting here. And that really mimics just what the superficial network looks like just underneath the skin. If we look at it in a 3D form, we see these little these filaments here, which are anchored to the tissues. And by gentle movement of the skin and the tissues, these tissue filaments and, and networks move. And as a result, fluid can move within it. There's no valves or anything stopping it, it's all interconnected. And so any movements that we do within the limb, we can move fluid around obstructions or to areas where fluid can drain more easily. So by using SLD, we can actually get fluid to move in different areas to parts that are not congested. And hopefully by doing that, we can ensure that the fluid drains away more efficiently. And as a result, your lymphedema will reduce. So who can do simple lymphatic drainage? Well, you, of course, can do that, and we hope we can teach you. Having said that, a carer or a relative, your spouse, can help you too. It's often sometimes easier to do that, but essentially it's you who's got to manage your lymphedema. So we're hoping that you will be able to do it, and our instructions, I hope, will be simple enough for you to learn over time. It does take practice and patience, but if you can do it, you will get really good results from reducing your lymphedema. When is simple lymphatic drainage useful? Well, hopefully it'll be something that you start to do every day as part of your self-management. But perhaps you're going in to have decongestive lymphatic therapy or intensive treatment with your lymphedema team. It's very, very useful to do it while you're in bandages. So keeping up with the lymphatic drainage is really helpful. We do it too predominantly for those who've got midline swelling, people who've got genital edema, people with breast edema, or those with facial edema too. So it can be really helpful for anybody, whether it be leg or arm or in the trunk, as, as I previously mentioned. It can be also helpful for those who've got scar tissue, scars from a breast cancer perhaps, or even trauma for any sort of surgery or even a road traffic accident. The lymphatic drainage, we can teach you to gently soften up those areas 
um, and particularly areas of fibrosis, as we call it, or hardening of the tissues that sometimes occurs with lymphedema patients. And finally, for those who use an intermittent pneumatic compression therapy, then if we implement simple lymphatic drainage before and after, we've got a much better chance of that fluid draining away more efficiently. We often have to avoid doing SLD. And the cases that we uh, suggest that is when you've perhaps had an infection, uh, an acute phase of infection. We want that infection to settle down. Perhaps you've had a recent DVT, deep vein thrombosis. Again, it wouldn't be wise to do simple lymphatic drainage at that time. And we usually advise around eight weeks before you start initiating your simple lymphatic drainage again. Perhaps you've had a heart problem. Again, we want that to settle down. We want it to be stable. And we would speak to your medics about that before suggesting that you continue with your SLD. And finally, perhaps you're in active cancer treatment. Perhaps you're having chemotherapy or radiotherapy, and there's just too much to, to be doing at that particular time to concentrate on SLD. So perhaps that would take a back seat. So those are the main areas really that we wouldn't do it. So what about when we do do it here in clinic? Well, we do a lot of teaching. We really want you to get that sequence correct. And as I've said earlier, it takes a lot of time to do that. You think you've got it, but when you go home, you've forgotten what we've said. And that's why having the handouts and the book is really helpful. But when we do the lymphatic drainage, we don't really use any cream or oil. You might have had lovely massages elsewhere, and they use lots of lovely lotions and potions. But when we're doing a simple lymphatic drainage, we want to actually get the contact of our skin on skin. We want to be able to manipulate and move the fluid which is in these vessels underneath the skin. We don't do it hard, we do it very gentle, but we want enough pressure to be able to move the skin over the underlying tissues. If it's too hard, you will redden the skin, and that's just too much. We'll guide you, we'll help you, but just a gentle movement where you can see the skin wrinkling is usually plenty enough pressure for that sequence to work well. You'll see that we start our SLD by doing deep breathing. That helps this deeper system to work more efficiently. So that's a really important part of the sequence that we'll be teaching you to do. We want you to do it well and we want you to do it efficiently. Our movements are also very slow. This system is sluggish. It doesn't drain very quickly. So if we try and, and, and encourage it to drain more efficiently, it won't work as well. So let's keep the movements nice and slow. We usually do about four or five um, treatments a day or encourage you to do that. That sounds a lot, I know but it only takes about 10 minutes to do it. We do about four uh, rep repetitions each time. And once you've got that sequence in your head, it literally takes just a few minutes. The more you can do it, the more efficiently that lymphedema will drain. Eventually, you might only have to do it once a day or even not. So it's really worth doing it in the initial stages. Here at Kendall Lymphology Centre, we are looking at simple lymphatic drainage as taught by the Lymphedema Training Academy. I've done lots of different courses over the years. I've been in lymphedema a long, long time. So I've picked up lots of different methods. But predominantly we teach um, the same uh, every time, trying to keep it simple, trying to keep it stable. We also use balls that you'll see in our treatments, these. And these are used in areas where we have lymph nodes or lymph glands. These help to empty notes, so by putting them into an armpit, for example, we can squeeze against them and that will help to empty the nodes. We will then move fluid using our hands and that will then drain into those nodes that we've emptied. If you don't have a ball, and many of the lymphedema uh, clinics will provide you with one, or you can buy one, of course, from the lymphedema support network. But if you don't have one of those, or the dog's eaten it, for example, then a rolled up flannel would just suffice. Just roll up a flannel and again put that into the area where the lymph nodes are. Gently squeeze and that will empty the tissues, the, the, the lymph nodes accordingly. You can also use other tools to help you. If you don't feel that your hands is good enough, you don't feel that you've got the right pressure, then perhaps you could use um, a, a massager like this. It's literally just a very small um, brush or tool and it literally just sweeps across the, the skin. You don't need to put any pressure on at all. Really effective. Perhaps you don't like touching your own skin. Perhaps your partner doesn't want to do it and prefers to do this. They get the pressure just right with that. So that's something that, that can be very useful. We can use rollers. These are just paint rollers from the DIY shop. 
So think of anything you can do to, to actually move the skin. This is an electronic massage, a battery operated. It just literally needs to be rested on the skin and the skin will move gently. You'll find your own things that work for you. This is a very old, very antiquated um, tool that we often used to use years ago. It looks a little bit formidable now, but it still works, particularly on very larger areas. So those rolls just roll nicely and help the skin to move more efficiently. But lots of different things available now. Those are just a very few that are available at the moment. So simple lymphatic drainage is really, really helpful. As you'll see from the sequences that we've recorded for you, we hope that you'll follow them and learn from them, but we hope that you'll do them. Hopefully again, your lymphedema teams will will practice and, and give you more solutions to your own particular lymphedema. Everybody's different and perhaps the sequence might change a little bit for you, but it will not work overnight. You do have, as I've said earlier, you do need to practice, you need to be patient and you need to persist in what you're doing. The more you do it, the more effective it will be. And of course, do remember that it's not a standalone treatment. It won't work on its own. It's not the only thing that will help your lymphedema. You'll need, of course, to use your compression garments You'll need to do your skin care, you'll need to exercise, and of course you'll need to watch your weight. But simple lymphatic drainage is a really useful tool to use alongside those. I really hope it works for you. Good luck. Self-lymphatic drainage, SLD, for the arm. Okay, Jim, so we're going to do some simple or self-lymphatic drainage for your right arm today. I'm going to show you the sequence. There are a lot of repetitions in it, but you'll learn all the moves for it. Any questions before we start? No, I'm going to wait and see what you're going to get me to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to start with some deep breathing. So I need you to put your fingers in the centre of your chest. And as you stretch your arms out, take a deep breath in. And then breathe out as the arms come back to the middle. Breathe in as the arms stretch out. Lovely and relax. And two more of those. And if you can stretch those fingers backwards, all the better. It'll give a real big stretch on your chest. And a big stretch out there. Lovely. And a relax back there. Marvellous. The next thing I'm going to ask you to do is empty the collarbones. This is where a lot of the lymphatic fluid goes back into the bloodstream, just before you do both sides like that. I'm going to ask you to do them separately. So we're going to start with the less affected side, which is your left yeah. side, and then move to the right side. So you would either use these fingers to empty the collarbones, or if that's awkward for no, you, bending your arms. Some people no, actually no, use a ball. Not so much. Okay, right, let's do it with fingers, and then we can maybe look at how we use a ball as well. So fingers either side of the collarbone, and stretch the skin slowly back towards that notch in the centre of your neck. That's marvellous. And we do four of these, start, that's grand. And number three, start out towards your shoulder. If you can find your collarbone out here towards your shoulder, that's it, that's grand. And a fourth one there. Marvellous. And if that did happen to be awkward, if your arm was particularly aching that day and heavy, you could always put a ball there and squeeze the ball or turn your head to the side to empty the cup, empty the lymph node in that way if, if your arm was too heavy. But you're doing well with your arm. And now we empty um, the collarbone nodes on the affected side and so you use that hand to do that with. So stretch those down towards the notch in the neck. Marvellous. And the fourth one, that's fabulous. Right. And the next move is what we call a shoulder sweep. And I want you to reach this hand as far as you can over the back of this shoulder and stretch the skin just over the top of the shoulder. You don't have to come too far, just to sort of that centre area. And so four slow stretches like that. That's to get any fluid that's collecting around the back of your shoulder over the top and back into the bloodstream. Well done, Jim, that's fantastic. Now we're going to empty the, the lymph nodes in your axilla or your armpit, and we're going to, again, start with the less affected side. So we'll put the ball there and squeeze down on that ball or maybe rotate the ball to empty those lymph nodes. 
and then relax it and a second squeeze down, fantastic and two more like that. That's great, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Don't squeeze too hard if it's tender or painful at all. Don't do anything if it's painful. No, it's not Don't want to cause you any trouble. Great. Okay, well done. Now we're going to work on your upper arm. We're going to do the arm in sections. We don't do it all in one go. So we're going to start with the upper arm. And I'd like you to use this hand and put it around the upper arm as much as you can, just above the elbow. Yep. And try and push that skin. You're very strong. Don't do it too hard. Don't do it so it hurts. <laughs> You're pushing the skin slowly. Therefore, you're moving that lymphatic fluid beneath, beneath the skin right to the top of the arm. That's great. And then maybe try and bring that hand around a little bit further to do this side of the arm. Well done. And a fourth one like that. So you've done four from the elbow to the upper arm. Everything's in fours. It is. <laughs> it is. Excellent. Well done. Now we're going to do some repeats. So we're going to repeat emptying the axilla nodes because we've just filled those up. So start on the unaffected side again and we're going to do four armpit or axilla squeezes. If people haven't got a ball at home, sometimes they use a pair of rolled up socks or if they're really stuck for anything else if they're out and about and they feel a bit achy under there some people just put their fist under their armpit oh, and squeeze down but these balls are great for fitting in that shape that's fabulous and four on this side if we swap it over Is that four? That's four. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> now if you could repeat the shoulder sweep on this side, which is where you take that hand over the shoulder and sweep any fluid over the back of the shoulder towards the collarbone again. Four of those for me. Perfect. One more, I think. Is it? I think we might have done more than four here. <laughs> and now we're going to repeat the emptying of the nodes at the collarbone. So you've swept it from the shoulder and now you need to repeat the nodes. And I've just shown you, you've copied me there, because you can do both sides together or you can do the unaffected side first with those fingers and then do that side. We'll keep it separate, I think, for now. Sweeping down. So from the outside of the shoulder and along the collarbone, down towards that notch in your neck. That's it. That's a great hand movement there. Well done. And then four on this side. You needn't start quite so far over for this part. That's great. If anything hurts, don't. It's you know, not. Don't not push at it. All. Don't do it. You know, if it's painful, you just. That's good. Really good pressure. Well done. So we've emptied the upper arm. Now we need to empty the lymph nodes at the elbow. Yeah. So you're going to take your ball again and hold it in the elbow. And actually, you might have to hold it here. And you're going to squeeze it at the crook of the elbow, like we did under the underarm. But we're going to do this four times as well. And that's because you've got a big group of lymph nodes in the elbow region here that we need to empty before we fill them up again. Four. Marvellous. 
well done. And now you're going to try and empty the lower arm because we've made some space yeah. for that fluid. So using this hand, that's right, put it around the wrist and push the skin towards the elbow. No higher than that, just up to the elbow. That's great. Four times. And maybe vary the position of your hand, bring it round a bit more so you do the outer part of your arm. That's perfect. Lovely. <coughs> right, so you've pushed that fluid to yep. the elbow. Now we need to empty the elbow again. <laughs> There's a lot of repeating in this sequence, but it all makes sense. <laughs> Four there, thank you. That's great, and now you've pushed the fluid up. So we need to empty the upper arm, so we're going to push it to the axilla of the armpit. Fabulous. And four. Lovely. Now you filled this with fluid, so we're going to squeeze that and empty that again. So four squeezes onto the armpit. Take everything slowly, nothing moves fast in the lymphatics. <laughs> All these little vessels take about four seconds to fill up <laughs> and then a little receptor on the, on the wall suddenly make them spring closed and empty so we have to give them a chance to fill up again each time. Marvellous. Now we're going to do the shoulder sweep where we take it right over the back. Back towards here. And four over the shoulder. And now just concentrating on these nodes, we're going to empty the collarbone nodes with your fingers. Don't need the shoulder in this one, just the collarbone nodes, that's it. Encouraging that fluid to get back into the bloodstream, that's it, perfect. Four of those. Lovely. Back of the hand, sometimes people's, the backs of the hands swell up sometimes. It's so, quite often not nice, yeah. but it's really, it's not very good to me. Great, but we'll empty it anyway, so use this hand and you push the skin up so you can see it wrinkling, but just to the wrist, you don't need to go any further. Emptying the back of the hand slowly, that's great. Four of those. And now a ball in the palm of the hand and we're going to squeeze the ball very slowly. And then release it and do four squeezes with that hand. Lovely. Finishing moves now. I want you to do a long sweep all the way from your fingertips all the way to the top of your shoulder. Four slow sweeps. Up. Do it on different parts of my arm. Yes, because sometimes it'll be the back of your arm that feels yeah, a bit Yeah, because sometimes firm. that's, yeah, that mm. is a, a bit. Wherever you feel it, it feels firmer. Can, yeah, yeah, quite firm on the back there, isn't it? It is, I can see that. So you could work that a few more times. And you can do this four and five times a day, you know, right. as long as you take it slowly. So you've swept it all up to the top. Now I need you to... Just, we're going to work backwards now to finish off, so squeeze that under the armpit because you've swept the fluid up to the armpit, so we'll empty that armpit. Squeezes, yeah, four of those. Fabulous, and we've done four, then four of the shoulder sweeps, so from the back of your shoulder just to here, just empty that shoulder. Just to there? Yeah. Grand. 
And then the last thing with those nodes where you put your fingers either side and draw it right to the notch of your neck. That's perfect. That's absolutely spot on. Well done, you've got that. And the fourth one, well done. And then just finish with four more deep breaths. So fingers to the middle, you want to stretch everything out again. Breathe out as you bring your fingers back. So it's a breath in, deep breath in. Fill that chest up and then relax. That's marvellous. And one last one. Fabulous. Okay, well done. You're finished. We really hope you found that video useful. Remember, though, to speak to your therapist about doing the SLD massage. She might be able to make it more individual to your own particular needs. You'll remember during the video that we used the uh, lymphatic balls. These were introduced into our simple lymphatic drainage techniques by Professor Belgrado, and they've been really useful particularly when emptying nodes, which you can do at any time during the day. Emptying those nodes will really help the, the lymphatic drainage to work more efficiently. So remember to do it more often if you can. The more you do it, the more efficiently your lymphedema uh, will drain and reduce nicely. There's one thing we didn't mention during the video, and that was that you shouldn't do the lymphatic drainage over your compression garment. Either take the garment off and perform the massage then, or just work on the the root of the, the limb, where the sleeve or the garment ends, that would be much more pertinent. And of course, our models that we use during these um, SLD demonstration, they did have clothing on. We would recommend that you did it skin on skin. That really has a much better effect. So again, we really hope you found the video useful. Remember to look at your book. The book, Your Lymphedema, Taking Back Control, covers all aspects of simple lymphatic drainage that you've seen today. So please refer to that and any other aspect of lymphedema that you'd like to learn more about. Thank you for listening. Thank you to Denise, Joe, and all those at Kendall Lymphology for sharing your expertise so willingly. To our wonderful models, Phil, Julie, Jim, and Martin. To Jacob at lockeddoor.co.uk and to you for watching. The LSN is a charitable incorporated organisation registered with the Charity Commission in the UK number 11938800. The LSN receives no statutory or NHS income and is reliant on the generosity of our supporters to fund our work. If you would like to support us, please click the link below or go to www.justgiving.com slash lymphedema support.